most memorable backstage fight? It was what, so I would say the most memorable, I never really saw any of the fights backstage. I, I was only, you know, I don't know where I was in the arena when they took place, but uh, I do remember hearing um, the fight between Booker T and, uh, and Dave Batista. Mm -hmm. And so I remember to me that when people talk about backstage fights, to me, for me personally, that's the most memorable one. Now, by the time I had gotten around to where all that took place, it was already broken apart and it was all done. But um, from what I recall, that was, I mean, Booker T just teed off on, uh, on Batista. And it was Batista, I guess, that, ca that called Booker T out for the fight. And it didn't end well for him. From what I heard, like I said, I didn't see it. I'm just taking this as secondhand information. By the time I got around to where the fight was, it was already over. Um, now, outside of backstage, there was one of the most memorable ones for me ever in WWE was the one where we were in. It was the night uh, that Owen passed. And it was Bradshaw and Blackman. And Bradshaw had been poking Blackman for a long time at this point, sticking his thumb up his ass. And not a real, Blackman, not really a guy you want to mess with, you know? And so we were getting off the plane, and uh, I guess Blackman had told uh, Bradshaw a few times, you know, don't do that. Don't take your thumb and stick it up my ass again. And just warned him several times. And we're all at baggage claim, and I can see Blackman standing there with his arms crossed, waiting for his bag to come around. And out of the corner of my eye, Bradshaw walked up behind him again, and I, I didn't see the thumb go because I wasn't really paying attention. All I saw out of the corner of my eye was Blackman do a quick 180 and pop, 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 pop. And I saw Bradshaw's head go bang, 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 bang. And this is just what I'm recalling. He took a step back, and it looked like he's going to spin kick his head off. And when he took that step back, I guess his foot went into the handle of a, some lady's bag. And that's when there was Al Snow. I think it was Al Snow, if I remember correctly, jumped on him and way kind of piled on. And they kind of got Bradshaw pushed away. He was still kind of dazed. And but everybody was like, if he had a if he had a thrown that kick, it was game over for Bradshaw. The funny part was we get to the arena and as I'm walking towards catering, all the boys are in catering. I can see Bradshaw pacing back and forth in the hallway, right in front of catering. And, uh, or not Bradshaw. It was a black woman pacing back and forth in front of catering. I said, bro, you all right? He's like, I'm going to kill that motherfucker. <laughs> so I'm like, damn dog. And no sooner did that happen. I see Bradshaw come around the corner to come to catering and Steve Blackman just went, Roar! I started like speed walking towards him. And Bradshaw's got his hands up. And Bradshaw's like, brother, brother, listen, man. He says, I just want to come here and just let's talk. Let's talk. Because he doesn't want he doesn't want Blackman on him. And Blackman walked right up to him, point right in his face. And he goes, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go in that catering in front of all the boys. You're going to announce that you apologize to me right in front of everybody. Or I'm going to fucking kill you. And without any, see, Bradshaw has got no shame, right? Has no shame in his game. Without any hesitation whatsoever, he grabbed Blackman by the wrist. He goes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and took him right into the catering. Hey, everybody, I got an announcement to make. <laughs> I want to I wanna apologize to you, Mr. Blackman. I don't, I don't want to die today. <laughs> He's got no shame in his game. And that's what I was talking about. Bradshaw is a walking home entertainment center. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. You're going to be entertained no matter what, <laughs> whether it's on TV or whether it's in real life. He's that guy. 